Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin. You have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, something you heard about, read about, something you may have been told, 844-236-6010. We want to be your go-to source for health information. We want to help you change your life today. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you want to share a success story, we love hearing those. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, or you can call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can be an entrepreneur and start your own business and free yourself from the, the slavery and tyranny of a 9-to-5-er. You can also keep your 9-to-5-er and just make some, some extra money on the side just for spreading the word about how powerful and important a good nutritional supplement program can be and sharing the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Healthy Start Pack, Immortalium, Synactive, and all the other fine longevity products. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Bright Side Ben phone team. You can purchase Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% Gel if you're dealing with hyper pigmentation, dark spots, accelerated aging of the skin. If you have problems with acne, retinol is your number one most important topical active ingredient along with vitamin C. And guess what? In our Truth Retinol 5% gel, you get both. Lots of premium vitamin C, 25% premium, lipophilic, fat-soluble, stable, moisturizing, deeply penetrating vitamin C. Not the cheapo kind, not the ascorbic acid that you get in most products. In addition to 5% retinol, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, along with our Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Serum, all available at truthtreatments.com. And of course, if you want to check out our Bone Broth Protein, made with bone broth amino acids and cartilage factors. Bone Broth Protein is your beauty protein because of the cartilage factors. It's got collagen, gelatin, glucosamine, chondroitin, lots of minerals. In addition to amino acids, you can find out all about it at brightsidehealth.com, and it tastes delicious, too. I'm sipping on it as we speak. Bone broth protein at brightsidehealth.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We're talking about breast milk and CLA and fats. Body is divided into two major compartments, a fatty compartment and a watery compartment. All of chemistry really can be said to be divided into this two, these two fundamental distinctions fats and water, water-soluble nutrients in the body, the, the uh, B complex, vitamin C, and electrolytes. These are essential nutrients that are, that are very easy to obtain from foods, but they also are excreted easily. So many of us run deficient in these electrical sparking nutrients, potassium and calcium and magnesium and, and um, the B complex and vitamin C. The fat-soluble nutrients, on the other hand, those are a little tricky 
to extract from foods and, and deficiencies in the fat soluble vitamins are not uncommon and the fat soluble nutrients essential fatty acids for example milk is a stupendously valuable source dairy in general is a stupendously valuable source of all the fat soluble nutrients last program we talked about CLA conjugated linoleic acid which is a very underappreciated fatty acid similar to uh, omega-6 fatty acids it's not exactly an omega-6 fatty acid, but it's pretty darn close. Very important for inflammatory issues. It's a growth-inducing vitamin or a growth-inducing substance. It's important for helping fight cancer. It's important for brain health. There's also cannabinoids. Well, CLA is in breast milk is, is the, the point I want to make here. It's found in high concentrations in breast milk. In the last program, we talked about another substance that's found in high concentration in breast milk, and that's the cannabinoids. The active ingredients in the marijuana plant. I find that endlessly fascinating that breast milk is a source of cannabinoids. It tells you that cannabinoids are extremely important. And it's kind of interesting that the same substance that's in our brain, that's in breast milk, that's in uh, our adrenal glands, that cells have evolved a, a, uh, a, a, a tried and true and well entrenched mechanism for using, the same substance is found in a leaf that grows on a weed that grows out of the ground. That is an amazing idea. Cannabinoids in breast milk are the same as cannabinoids in, in uh, the marijuana plant, which is basically just a weed. And those cannabinoids that are in breast milk come from our ultimate EFAs. They're derived from our ultimate essential fatty acids. We make our own cannabinoids via omega-6 essential fatty acids that are found in your ultimate EFA and ultimate EFA+. Milk is an amazing, amazing food. Breast milk, particularly human breast milk for humans, is a particular, particularly amazing food. And anything that's in human breast milk is going to have a, a salubrious, a health-inducing effect, a building effect, a disease-fighting effect. We should all be drinking breast milk, really. I don't know how we could figure out how to do that, but if we could... Breast milk is just amazing, amazing stuff, not just for babies, but for any, any of us that need to grow and repair. Breast milk is a source of fat. It's a source of saturated fat. It's the ideal ketogenic food, even though, interestingly, breast milk is high in sugar. It's high in carbs, but yet it still induces ketogenesis. This is a kind of a mystery. But when you think about it, not so much because the sugars, the carbs that are in breast milk are specific for the brain. They're brain sugars. They're not so much glucose, the sugars that we use for energy. They're sugars that are slightly different. There's different forms of sugar. When we talk about sugar, we always talk about glucose or sucrose or fructose. Those are the main sugars that we think about when we talk about avoiding sugar. But there's lots of neuro neurological sugars, sugars that are important for neurology. And when we talk about breast milk being high in sugar, high in carbs, basically we're talking about brain sugars, not energy sugars. That means even though breast milk is sweet, it is still a ketogenic substance. Breastfed babies are in ketosis. And what does that tell you? It tells you that ketosis, ketones, equals building and growth and repair and immune system building and brain building. That blissed out look that babies get after their nursing is due to ketones and probably somewhat due to the cannabinoids as well. And the fact that babies are in ketosis again points out to the very, very important brain, bodybuilding, health inducing effects of ketones in the ketogenic diet. The fact that breast milk is ketogenic, the fact that babies are in ketosis when they're breastfed points to the fact that the ketogenic diet and ketosis is something that we all want to be leveraging. Breast milk, as I say, is also a source of CLAs. This does presuppose the fact that the mom is healthy, and this is a presupposition that isn't always accurate. Yes, it's true. Breast milk is an amazingly, potentially amazing, amazing source of food, but it's also a source of danger if mom is not healthy, if mom's under stress, if mom's got food intolerances or food allergens, if mom's on drugs. All that stuff is going to compromise the breast milk and ultimately compromise baby. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we're back on The Bright 
Insights. Pharmacist Ben here. Thank you for joining us, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at BrightSideBen.com and PharmacistBen.com and CriticalHealthNews.com, all of which we have blog posts on, we blog regularly, as well as have news stories. Thank you to Robert Lundgren for setting up PharmacistBen.com and John T. Collier for setting up CriticalHealthNews.com, which is my uh, George Norrie associated blog. And by the way, I will be on Coast to Coast AM this morning, or this evening and morning, uh, 11 to uh, 1 Mountain Standard Time. We'll be talking about health and nutrition with George Norrie and taking phone calls as well. So if you uh, want to catch that, that would be great. 11 o'clock tonight, August August the 11th, uh, on uh, Coast to Coast AM. If you're in the Dallas area, I will be doing a talk at the Red Barn event venue in Aubrey, Texas, which is right near Denton, Texas, 3420 Elm Bottom Circle, Aubrey, Texas, zip code 76227. That's uh, this Saturday, August 13th, and I'll be on at 3.30 p.m. If you're a part of the Longevity family, you want to come by earlier, uh, there, there'll be a dinner Friday evening, August 12th, and there are also uh, a bunch of good talks, a bunch of, uh, that's one of the neat things about longevity is a lot of what we do is about self-help and improvement, not just for sales and not just for business, but also just for living your life. And there'll be some great speakers, as there always are at these Saturday events at the Red Barn event venue, including me, 3.30 p.m. on August 13th. Call Jan Lane at 251459. 1309-251-459-1309 if you want more information. If you're in the Chicago area, I'll be at the Armada Hotel and Conference Center in Glendale Heights, Illinois, zip 60139. And that's Tuesday, August 16th. Call Mike B- uh, Bedolf at 708-510-6671. 708-510-6671. For more information. Okay, got lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. We're talking about breast milk and about CLA, conjugated linoleic acid. I love this stuff. We'll finish up. We've been talking about it for a few days. We'll we'll finish up here uh, today. And then we're going to talk about another really cool and underappreciated amino acid called carnitine. Carnitine, as the name implies, carne means meat, is only found in animal foods. It's not essential. Human beings can make it. But if you're a vegetarian or vegan, you may not be making enough. And we're going to talk. Uh, we're going to spend some, some time talking about this because it's got so many, so many uh, health benefits. Carnitine, acetyl L-carnitine. There's there's various forms of it. We'll talk about that for the next few days. I want to just finish up talking about breast milk and CLAs. If you're going ketogenic, uh, CLA is a good supplement to think about. CLA is ketogenic itself. Uh, if you want to prevent cancer, if your arteries are clogging because you're eating too much sugar. All of these are, are markers of, of, of health challenges that CLA can improve. CLA is important for brain health. It's important for the health of the immune system. Hopefully, between uh, ketones and short-chain fatty acids and, and uh, medium-chain fatty acids, MCTs, and essential fatty acids, and conjugated linoleic acids, CLA, you can begin to see how stupendously important fats are especially correct dietary fats when it comes to health, when it comes to aging, when it comes to pretty much everything we like about life. CLA is available as a supplement. You can buy it off the internet. It's also found in foods. Uh, As a supplement, you want to maybe take three or four grams a day, especially if you're going ketogenic. You can find it in grass-fed animal products, eggs, milk, cheese, meat. Animals can extract CLA from grass very efficiently much more efficiently than we can. And if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, like with carnitine, it's going to be hard to get a good dose of CLA. If you want to, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan and you really want to leverage, well, if you're vegan, I should say, if you're vegetarian, you can still get your CLA from dairy. But if you're, if you're a vegan, you're not going to be able to get the CLA out of dairy or, or meat for that matter. So uh, it's probably a good idea if you want to get a good dose of the stuff to supplement mushrooms, which are always a good vegetarian source of animal nutrients. Mushrooms being a cross between the plant world and the animal world. Whenever there's a nutrient that's not found in plants but is found in animals, mushrooms are oftentimes a good source. Mushrooms are, if you're a vegan or a vegetarian for that matter, you really, really, really want to be a mushroom lover. A mushroom's a good source of vitamin D, which is an animal vitamin. I shouldn't say a good source. It's an okay source of vitamin D, which is an animal vitamin. It's an okay source of vitamin A, which is an animal vitamin. And 
Uh, not surprisingly, mushrooms are also a good source of conjugated linoleic acid, CLA. You'll probably find a little CLA in seed oils. Hemp seed oil is a good source of CLA. Wheat germ oil, of course, then you gotta deal with all the problems associated with oils. Oils are incredibly, incredibly nutritionally dense, but they're also very unstable, thus the problem with them. If you're gonna do oils, and I do believe uh, it's, there is value to using oils, make sure the oils are cold, kept in the fridge, make sure they're fresh, make sure they're processed cleanly, as in cold, pre cold, uh, cold press, cold pressed, I should say, not solvent extracted. Make sure they're kept in a dark bottle and uh, use them quickly. And they are a good source of nutrients in particular, in uh, particular CLA. All right, so there's other nutrients. CLA is important, but there's other nutrients. If you, if you want to leverage the ketogenic diet, there's other nutrients to use. And one of them, maybe the most important, certainly one of the most important is carnitine. Carnitine represents the essence of the ketogenic diet's mechanism because carnitine's job is to facilitate fat burning. The ketogenic diet turns us from sugar burners into fat burners. That's how it works. Under ordinary circumstances, we burn sugar more than fat, and that means the fat gets stored. It doesn't get burnt, which is unfortunate because the fat is really our best source of energy. There's twice as much energy in fat as there is in carbs. But because our culture is absolutely awash in carbohydrates because of their cheapness, because we're swimming in an ocean of carbohydrates, because we're immersed in sugar and carbohydrates at every turn, our body doesn't get a chance to burn the fat. The ketogenic diet, which is a low-carb diet, forces our body to burn fat. And there are nutrients that enhance this, and carnitine is one of them. In fact, that's, that's what carnitine is. It's a fat-burning supplement. Like the ketogenic diet, carnitine is a fat-burning, it is a ketogenic supplement. It literally does the same thing that the ketogenic diet does. It facilitates fat burning. It allows us to get energy from fat. And this makes it really important for the heart, particularly, and also the brain, both of which are able to utilize fat for energy, especially the heart. It is, carnitine is the ultimate heart nutrient. And if you have any kind of heart issues, any kind of heart health issues, carnitine is something that you want to absolutely be using, in my humble opinion. It's part of what Dr. Stephen Sinatra calls his, uh, the Sinatra solution of, uh, for uh, cardiovascular disease, magnesium carnitine. He uses something called ribose as well but carnitine is the core of it. I think it's kind of ironic that uh, an amino acid that's found in meat, carnitine, an amino acid-like supplement, it's not really an amino acid, it's a couple of amino acids, but a peptide, if you will, that's found in meat is actually cardioprotective. Tell that to the next vegetarian or vegan who tells you that your meat is bad for your heart. It is absolutely not bad for your heart. Hormone meat is. Antibiotic meat is, burnt meat is, but meat itself is important for health, and the carnitine meat is especially important for, uh, for, uh, for the heart, for, for uh, helping the heart derive energy from fats. Carnitine acts like a little shuttle that pulls fats into the little fat-burning powerhouses, the, the so-called uh, so uh, energy furnaces in a cell called mitochondria. All right, we take a break and come back with more good health information on the bright side right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. Thank you for joining us. 844-236-6010 is our number on the Bright Side. We do have lines open for you. We'll get your calls here momentarily. I want to encourage you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. If you're looking for, if you're not satisfied with the way your skin health product or your skincare product is working, there's a good reason for it because it's mostly water and filler and wax and mostly working on the surface of the skin. If you really want to get benefits from a skin health product, you got to get down deep into the dermis. you got to have enough of the active ingredient. And you got to have the right active ingredient. And the active ingredient has to be in the right form. Thus was born our Truth Skin Health products, which are the culmination of everything I have learned about skin care and about the skin over 32 years. Started out in, back in 1983 formulating skin health products and skin care products and got going in a big way in my compounding pharmacy for over 20 years. And the truth is that most skin care products are nothing but filler and wax and water, and there's a very good reason why you don't get any benefit from them. 
That's why I came up with our Truth Skin Health products made with 100% active and functional ingredients. No fillers, no wax, no water, no emulsifier, no preservative, no oil, no silicon, no nothing your skin doesn't need or it doesn't want. Just 100% active and functional ingredients. Truth Retinol, 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream for wrinkles, for anti-aging, for healing, for moisturization, for every single marker of skin health. You want our Truth Skin Health products, find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, from the journal, Gas, uh, journal uh, Clinical Nutrition, novel therapy for Crohn's disease discovered. Hmm, what could this be? Well, the Nutritional Immunology and Molecular Medicine Laboratory research team at Virginia Tech has discovered an important new supplement that can help you with Crohn's disease. It's called conjugated linoleic acid. How do you like that? CLA for treating Crohn's disease, which is a form of ir irritable bowel disease. CLA, according to this article, affords those afflicted with mild to moderate IBD an effective treatment without the unwanted side effects of drugs. Quote, we have demonstrated that probiotic bacteria can produce CLA locally and suppress colitis. That means in addition to supplementing with CLA, you want to make sure that you're using probiotics and supporting uh, the environment, the intestinal environment, so the probiotics can live in a healthy and uh, uh, healthy and long life fashion. That's so important if you're dealing with Crohn's disease or ir irritable bowel disease or any digestive health issue. You gotta get those microbiome, get that microbiome, those probiotics back to where they need to be by supplementing with the ultimate nightly essence, by making sure you're eating fiber, by making sure you're doing vegetable juices, by minimizing your contact with chlorinated water and fluoridated water, drink distilled water or filtered water, and certainly by staying away from antibiotics. We had Robin Ch Dr. Robin Chutkin on uh, a couple of days ago talking about her book, uh, The Microbiome Solution, and she said something very interesting. She said it could take years after you're on an antibiotic, a round of antibiotics for your probiotics to recover. Years. That means if you have been on a, a round of antibiotics or, or multiple rounds of antibiotics, or God forbid if some boneheaded medical professional is leaving you on uh, antibiotics, you gotta make sure that you're doing every single thing you can do to keep that, the, the environment in the intestine, in the colon healthy. Staying away from chlorinated water and fluoridated water, using supplements, ultimate nightly essence supplements, as well as getting fiber and vegetables. Also, glutamine. We haven't talked about that one for a while. Glutamine is amazingly important for the intestine, and anybody with any kind of irritable bowel syndrome issue, ulcerative colitis, should be uh, uh, or uh, or Crohn's disease should be on, in my humble opinion, a glutamine supplement, or or and I should say, not or. Uh, our bone broth protein, which contains glutamine-like factors and other intestinal health factors like glucosamine, and bone broth in general is a wonderful digestive health food, and aloe vera, liquid aloe vera gel, drinking a cu uh, half a cup or so a day can be wonderfully beneficial for the digestive tract in the intestine. Same with noni juice. Noni, aloe, bone broth all contain mucilaginous substances, gummy substances, slimy substances that help support digestive health. And oh, by the way, fucoidin does too. Our fucoid Z and algaes and seaweeds all have this slimy coating quality that can help improve intestinal health. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go off to Canada and welcome Tristan to the Bright Side. Good morning, Tristan. What's going on? Good morning, Ben. Hi, thanks for having me on the show. Sure. I just had a question. I was, I was always wondering about in regards to my nails. I have these brown vertical lines that go that are present on all my fingernails. That's what How old are you? Uh, 23. That is not a good sign, Tristan. Any defects in the nails need to be regarded as a nutritional deficiency or malabsorption or both. Well, I should say just nutritional deficiency, either due to lack of intake or malabsorption. Typically malabsorption, it takes a lot for the nails to start to show those ridges. And, and so you must have had some stuff going on for a while. You, this, there's no way that it's, this is the only thing you got going on, is correct? Uh, well, now I've cleaned up my diet and whatnot. Well, no, I'm not beating you up, brother. I just want to know. I'm, we got to get the story straight here. So yeah, yeah, yeah I know, uh, I know. Um, okay, so so not facts. That I can think of. Well, you, you said you're cleaning up your diet. You must have something going on in the digestive system, no? 
Uh, yes, yes. Before I did, yes. Yes. Before I did, yes. So you're, this is just the this is just uh, uh, the end result. You know, you, when you clean up your diet, that it's going to take some time for everything to get going, and you may not have cleaned it up entirely, or you may have some breakdown in the digestive system. But the fact is that anyone dealing with nail issues, ridges or thinning nails or breaking nails, brittle nails, this is a classic, a classic manifestation of a, a nutritional issue, and I'll tell you why. See, the nails represent the extremity of the body, the ultra extremity of the body. And when we are under conditions of deficiency, when we're under conditions of nutritional deficiency, it is the extremities of the body that are going to be affected first. Think about it this way. The body will pull all the nutrients to the core where all the organs are. Does that make sense? It'll, it'll conserve the nutrients. Instead of spreading the nutrients to the extremities, when there's, when there's abundant nutrients, it'll start to conserve them by pulling them into the core. Make sense so far? It does. It does. I've had these. I have these ever since I could remember. So like every. Well, you remember. could have had this problem. You could have had a problem since you were born, for that matter. All right. So now, now the thing about the body is, at the age of 23, is we are so unbelievably geared to life and to reproduce that we miss things because we feel vital and we feel strong. That's why you can, when you're in high school or when you're in your early years of college or even younger, you, you know, in eighth grade and seventh grade, you can abuse your body. These days, there's kids who are abusing their body with drugs and with cigarettes and with alcohol at very early ages, but then you can go out and play football the next day, you know, or you can, you can party at night and then you can go to work the next day. And this can occur from the age of, say, you know, 8 or 9 or 10 or 11 or 12 to 23, 24, 25, up to the age of 28. Then at the age of 28, we hit the wall, boom, and that's when it all starts tumbling down. And it starts slowly, depending on how deteriorated we are. And it doesn't. For some of us, it doesn't really kick in until we're in our 30s or 40s. But for many of us, when we're 28, all of a sudden we don't feel so great. All of a sudden we can't go out at night, and uh, we can't go out the next night after going out and partying. You know, little things like that start to show up. Now you're 23. This is way earlier to be expressing this kind of symptomology. And the fact that you said you had it all your life tells me there's something going on, Tristan. So here's the deal. Number one, you got to focus on the digestive system. And I'll tell you a whole bunch of nutrients to take, but if you don't focus on absorption and digestive health, the nutrients aren't going to be able to do their work. Hang on, Tristan. We'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will be, we will be back right after this. We are back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. Safe for 4 236 is our number. If you're in the Chicago area, please stop by the Armada Hotel next Tuesday, August 16th, the Armada Hotel and Conference Center, 780 North Avenue, Glendale Heights, Illinois, 60139. Call Mike Bedolf at 708-510-6671 for more information. I'll be doing a two-hour talk on health and nutrition, and I'll be doing a talk as well uh, in Aubrey, Texas, tomorrow, uh, Saturday, the 13th of August at the Red Barn event venue, 3420 Elm Bottom Circle. Call Jan Lane at 251-459-1309 for more information. Okay, we're talking to Tristan in Canada about the nails. Uh, if the nails are brittle, the nails are thin, the nails are ridged, the nails have, uh, there's color changes in the nails. These are all indicators of nutritional deficiencies. They're classic for the reason I said, uh, I outlined before we went to break, how the body conserves nutrients by pulling them to the core. This is why the skin, the hair, and the nails are the canary in the coal mine. They are the first place you will notice uh, nutritional uh, and digestive pro uh, absorption problems. Are you there, Tristan? Yep. I'm okay. Right here. Okay. So first things first, because I'm going to tell you some supplements to use. But if you got if your digestive system's messed up, they're not going to do you as much good, if any good, uh, because you're not going to be able to utilize them or absorb them. So you got to work on stomach acid number one. Uh, uh, stomach acid deficiencies are associated with B vitamin deficiency, they're associated with zinc deficiency, they're associated with uh, calcium deficiency, all of which are important for strong, healthy nails. So uh, use apple cider vinegar with your meals, use uh, 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 ultimate enzymes with all your meals. I should say, before you even start any of this, look for foods that you have a particular problem with, gas or, or bloating or burping. All of these are indicators that you're not producing enough stomach acid. Any issues this way? Gas, bloating, burping? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, well, we'll focus. Keep, keep your eye, pay attention. You're only 23, and if you had issues your whole life, you may not even notice them. You may have tuned them out. If you got nail issues, it's pretty difficult to not have associated digestive issues, so look for them. 
uh, in addition to stomach, in addition to food elimination and apple cider vinegar for stomach acid, you can also use something called pepsin HCL with your meals, or you can actually even get a pharmacist to make HCL drops for you with your meals with your ultimate enzymes. Get on the nightly essence probiotics. Uh, you also want to, uh, it might be helpful for you to use fat absorption nutrients like, uh, like lecithin and bile salts. And then you're going to want to start to use supplements that help strengthen the nails. One of my all-time favorite supplements for strengthening the nails, for keeping wrinkles at bay, and also for, uh, for the hair is silica. Now, silica is a, it's pretty ubiquitous. It's found everywhere, but not in super high concentrations, not in medicinal concentrations. So I recommend you dosing with silica, extra silica, and the best form of silica is called liquid silica gel. There's not a lot of companies making it. There's one in particular. Get it on the internet, and you want to do maybe a teaspoon or two teaspoons a day. In fact, this is a great supplement for everybody to do, in my opinion. It's not super essential like the Bs or vitamin C, but it's majorly important for building things, bone and skin, as well as the nails, and also for, for hair growth, too. Liquid silica gel. Uh, vitamin C is very important. Make sure you're getting your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, your Healthy Start Pack. That will give you your omega fatty acids, which are also important. The mineral zinc is important. You should, everybody should be on zinc, 50 milligrams a day. Uh, in my opinion, it's hard to find enough zinc in foods, and zinc is important for building things like, uh, like silica is, uh, especially for m the male hormone system. Uh, how's your hair, by the way? Are you noticing any thinning hair or anything like that, Tristan? Um, my hair is fine. My hair is fine. Okay. So, you know, you're lucky you're catching this early. 50 milligrams of zinc a day. Uh, use the plant-derived minerals also. And then don't forget about the B-complex. Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Star Pack will get you there too. Focus on digestive health. Make sure you're absorbing your nutrients and then start adding in some of these uh, tissue-building and nail-building nutrients like zinc and silica and, uh, and uh, also calcium. Okay. Would, uh, would sulfur help? Sulfur would definitely help. MSM sulfur, that's actually a great point. Sulfur is an important uh, hardening mineral, and the nails and the hair both depend on sulfur for their, for their hard texture. Absolutely, sulfur is a great one to take. Thanks for pointing that out. And you know what else? Now that I think about it, uh, uh, cartilage factors might also help you too. Okay, sounds great. Thanks. Okay, Tristan, thank you for your call. Good luck with everything. All right, All right. Carl, good, uh, later. Carl, the Truth Raider, good morning. What's up, bro? Good morning, Ben. Hey. I have a new Latin term for a condition. Yes. A fungal condition. I call it Oris Yorungus de la Fungus. <laughs> uh, what is it? He's, help me out here. I'm not understanding. That's, in, that's the Latin term for? For dairy and consumption of other types of products that have high concentrated amounts of bacteria. Well, that fungus we isn't bacteria. Foods every day. Well, foods fungus isn't we bac eat. fungus isn't bacteria. Number one, but your point is well taken. Uh, uh, bacteria uh, milk actually does have bacteria, and that's one of the reasons why dairy ca dairy uh, cattle are given uh, antibiotics. You ever hear the pus count? Yeah. You ever heard of the the pus count? Every state has their own legal limits for pus in the milk. They call it the Correct. pus count. You, you know yeah. about that, right? Oh, it's yeah, kind of, and bugs and other foods are, are yeah. permitted. Insect well, parts and things like that. But the pus, <laughs> the, the, pus da, the pus thing, you know that white thing you get on your, on your upper lip when you drink milk? I call yeah. that a pus stash. Yeah, a pus stash, yeah, that's yes. like, very good. So what, this is what's going on, Ben. Uh, through diathoresis in the process of eliminating contaminants, bacteria, or fungus or candida overgrowth, whatever it may be, what's going on is it's passing through my body when I, when I have dairy food. Say, for example, I have a cup of coffee and I'll have the, some designer cream, really delicious cream or something that goes with it that makes the coffee go really well, right? But what's going on is it's the, going through the body, passing down to my feet and collecting between the toes. What are you doing? What? Yeah. No. That's and it happen. passes out through the back of my ears as well. I get some type of a... A moisture. This is when you do when you drink milk. Ears. This is when you drink and milk. I'm having a well. If I have a large amount of dairy products, say if I have a food with a little sour cream on it, you know, to like a, a baked potato, put a little yeah. sour cream. You know, you skin problems. With creamer, you have cheese. You eat things like that to go with your meals, or you eat pizza or anything like that. It's got any type of dairy product in it. It passes at least through my body. This is the condition that I. I seem to suffer, and I've been suffering this for quite a while. It might be the cause of why I'm having redness in the eyes and Maybe. other type of difficulty. Fungal infection can do it. The back of my 
ears that it, and and I, I wipe it, but it smells like like spoiled cheese. And then it's the, not good, it's Carl. That that won't get you a girlfriend, that's for sure. That's Listen, true. And then it passes through my feet. I give a collection of brown deposit, brown. All right. Deposit. Well, I got the, I get the I get the picture. No more visuals, Carl, the yeah. translator. But here <laughs> but, here's the deal. That's a sign of that's a metabolic sign, not necessarily a sign of, uh, that the fungus in the milk is passing through. That's a sign that you're not processing, uh, that your bacteria is not uh, is not uh, balancing out the fungus as effectively as it should. So that's a digestive condition. Now, certainly, milk can exacerbate digestive problems. And I, I've been talking about how wonderful milk is for the last couple of days, but it's also a big problem food. And really, given all its even given all of its nutritional value. I, I stay away from the stuff personally, uh, although I do do butter and cheese. But just straight milk, you know, it's got so many problems associated with it in terms of how the body digests it and processes it and uses it. So I would be looking at a digestive problem, Carl, and that would mean that's a job for probiotics and fermented foods. In fact, why don't you do this, Carl the Truth Raider? Because you got all these little minor, minor little things. Nothing really dramatic yet, but you've got minor little things. Why don't you go on a, on a, a swear of cleanse for, for me? And will you do that? A swear of cleanse? Can Certainly. you do three now, days? Do you have that in your product line. You have swear yes. V in Yes, it's cheap. Okay. The stuff is cheap. Do half a bottle of swear of every hour for uh, two or three days, right? Okay. And then when you start eating, just eat fermented food, particularly sauerkraut, because I'll get you the fiber fiber and the um, and the uh, phytonutrients from the cabbage and by the way cabbage is one of the all-time great digestive health foods uh, scientists actually have come up with a, a name for this mysterious compound that's found in cabbage called vitamin U which isn't really a vitamin but it's this mysterious substance nobody knows exactly what it is but it helps with ulcers they call it vitamin U so cabbage in general cabbage soup and and, and uh, steamed cabbage are really good for the digestive system but fermented cabbage is doubly good or it's extra good so do a swear of e cleanse Carl for two or three days okay. and then and if you'll do this I'll I'll, I'll send you out a, a big jug of beyond tangy tangerine on me in return oh, for you goodness. doing it yeah I want you to do this uh-huh. and I want you to call back and tell me what you found out call us back okay so do it th- I'll do a seven day diary I guess on this and make yes. a project yeah. So, Seven, uh, a couple of days, swear of cleanse, two or three days, okay. swear of cleanse. And then when you start eating again, try to stick to fermented foods as much as possible. Not dairy, though. Not fermented dairy, but miso, tempeh, and especially sauerkraut and fermented veggies. Do this for right. the next four days. And then I want to hear what happens. I'm going to make you a case study, and you can become a bright side case study. In return for that, I'm going to send you out a BTT on me. Okay? Awesome. That sounds great. Right. I'll get so, to it and order up. Thank uh, you, Carl, the truth right here. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. That's all the time we have for, for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for listening, friends. Hope to see you in Aubrey, Texas on Saturday or in Chicago coming up uh, uh, this Tuesday, August the uh, August the 16th. Please check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and our bone broth at brightsidehealth.com. And, of course, if you want to join the Longevity team, call 866-735-2470. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.